Hey Google, charge my MacBook. Activating desktop and charging your MacBook. Hi vlog, welcome to my guys. Ako po ang inyong ka-quarantine si Rex and Tal and welcome po to my portable work from home setup. Hope you guys are managing well in the lockdown. Ako I think I'm doing okay since hindi ko pa naisip mag-tiktok. Pero ito na lang naisip kong gawin since uh, I've been receiving questions lately on how I set up my desktop, where I got this, where I got that. And some people are also asking me uh, which MacBook they should get. So in this very simple video, I'm gonna run through the devices that I have and take you step by step on how you can create your own desktop that will fit your own needs and preferences. Okay, so the first one is choosing the right laptop for you. I'm gonna focus on the MacBooks because uh, I'm a long time Apple user. I just love airdropping files in and out of my device and I love their user friendly interface. But if you're using a Windows PC or laptop or kahit Android or iMac, uh, these will do as well. Some people kasi were asking me which MacBook they should get kasi sobrang complicated ng specs, hindi sila techy. So what I will do is explain it in a simple manner na kahit hindi ka techy, maintindihan nyo. Currently in 2020, Apple releases only three MacBook models. The first one is the MacBook Air, which is the cheapest, thinnest, and lightest of all the models. If casual user ka lang, just browses the web, watch some videos, or gagamitin mo lang for basic office work or for school to make PowerPoints or Microsoft Word files, you should settle for the MacBook Air. However, if you want a MacBook for the working environment, the all-around choice is the 13-inch MacBook Pro. So if you edit, design, code, or make music or whatever, the 13-inch MacBook Pro is the choice for you. But if you want the fastest and most powerful of all the MacBooks, go with the 16-inch MacBook Pro, which is the best MacBook in history. This MacBook is suited for those who do intensive tasks. So perfect to sa mga same-day video editors or those who just want more speed and more power. Also, MacBooks aren't known to be made for gaming, pero this differs from all of them kasi kaya niyang mag-run ng computer game with impressive graphics. This is what I use. I use the 16-inch MacBook Pro. I got this one sa Suki ko sa Green Hills sa Boss Jack Shop. Ay kay Ate Pot. So if you guys are looking for brand new or second-hand laptops or accessories, you guys can check them out sa Green Hills. Uh, ako kasi I do lots of designing. I freelance as a graphic designer. Uh, I also work in our family business where I design huge files. I also edit our vlogs so I do lots of Premiere Pro and sometimes when I paint, I design it first sa Photoshop before I paint it sa canvas. And lahat yun na pagsasabay-sabay ko with this laptop. Apple also discontinued the production of some of its models like the very old 12-inch MacBook, the 15-inch MacBook Pro because this one got updated na to 16 inches, and Apple also once released a 17-inch MacBook Pro. So if you're gonna look at the older versions, kailangan mo talaga tingnan yung specs because not all MacBook Airs are the same, not all MacBook Pros are the same. Because every year they improve something and because you can also upgrade its specs. To view your MacBook specs, all you have to do is just click the Apple logo on the upper left corner and click about this Mac. From there, may kita mo yung current version of your Mac OS or your Mac's operating system. Ako, I have Catalina, which is the latest version. And this is crucial if you have the older MacBooks because there will come a time talaga that you will have to opt not to update to its latest version because this can slow down your MacBook. So if napansin mong bumagal yung MacBook mo kahit nag-delete ka ng files or kahit na-reformat mo na, it's probably because di na kinakaya ng MacBook mo yung latest operating system. If this happens, you don't have to buy a new MacBook. What I suggest you to do is to downgrade your operating system kung saan siya nagpo-function ng maayos. Ako, what I did before with my 13-inch MacBook, I kept it at high share rack kasi doon lang siya mabilis and doon lang siya nagpo-function ng maayos. The next ones naman, the processor, the memory, and the graphics, this is where it gets technical but I'm going to explain it simply. The processor or the CPU or central processing unit 
for me, ito yung pinaka-important because a faster processor kasi means apps load quickly, you can run multiple apps at once, and the computer won't lag when you run intensive tasks. All you have to do lang naman talaga is to know the number of core processors. Think of the core processors as the workers of your laptop. The more workers you have for your laptop, the faster the laptop will run. The base MacBook Air has dual core processors which can be upgraded to 4. The base 13-inch MacBook Pro naman has quad-core processors. And the base 16-inch MacBook Pro has 6 which can be upgraded to 8. So if you get the 6-core 16-inch MacBook Pro and just use it for Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, masasayang lang talaga kasi hindi mo magagamit yung ibang processors. Next is the memory or RAM or random access memory. This is a shorter memory storage for use or open applications. Kumbaga, think of it as a table workspace. When you open an app, it stores temporary data on your table. When you open another app naman, it also stores temporary data on your table. So the size of this data depends on the app itself. And when you close the app naman, it automatically deletes the stored data. That's why it's called a short-term memory storage. Meaning, a bigger table can accomplish and juggle more things at the same time. So imagine mo na lang if i-combine mo siya with the processors. The higher the capacity of the memory, the more it can accommodate. The current laptops naman generally have 8GB of memory, which is more than enough for most users. So if you have 4 gigabytes of memory, magagamit mo na siya na maayos for surfing the web, watching videos, or some mga basic work stuff lang. But if you want a bigger workspace, you can upgrade it to 16 gigabytes, like what the base 16-inch MacBook Pro has. The last one naman is the graphics card, and ito yung hinahanap ng mga gamers or kung gusto mo mag video edit in 4K because this produces the image you see on your computer. Kumbaga, think of it as the artist that shows you everything on the screen. The greater the artist or the graphics card, the higher resolution it can draw for your game or screen. Intel provides the graphics cards for most MacBooks, but the 16-inch MacBook Pro models have the Radeon Pro and ito yung hahanapin mo if you want a gaming MacBook. I won't focus on the other tabs na because it's kinda self-explanatory. Pero sa storage naman, if you want a bigger built-in storage, pwede mong i-upgrade. Pero ako, I don't upgrade na to bigger storage kasi mahal siya. And what I do na lang is I just get a 1TB hard drive because it's cheaper. If I were to compare naman the new MacBooks to the older MacBooks, here are the new features. The new MacBooks have the Touch ID bar and yung options nito depends on the application open. It now also has a fingerprint sensor, so you can now use your finger to open your map, pay some bills, or use it for passwords. It also has a bigger trackpad, which I really, really like. And now all of the slots are Type-C, so you will really need a 7-in-1 adapter. And last for the key new features is yung charger. It's Type-C na also, so you can plug it in any slot you like. I used to work with my 13-inch 2015 MacBook Pro, uh, which actually served me pretty well, but it isn't suiting my needs anymore. And that's why I upgraded to the 16-inch MacBook. And to be honest, I was really hesitant at first of getting this product because it's kind of pricey. Talaga. Pero inisip ko na lang it's a huge investment that will eventually pay for itself when I get more work done. And sa mga designers, may gets nyo ako when I say na in my previous laptop, I edit, then maglo-load siya matagal. I render, then maghihintay ka na naman. I move a simple layer, a simple layer lang, maghihintay ka na naman. So before you get your work done, mapipikon ka talaga. But with this machine, the most waiting time I have lang is a couple of minutes exporting the video. Even rendering is so seamless. And I can also foresee na it will run well in the next five to ten years so i'm really 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 happy with my 16 inch macbook pro love you okay so the next one is getting an extra monitor screen oh nainis ako but di ko naisip to dati because having an extra monitor screen is perfect for designers or sa mga nagko-code pero if you're just surfing the web or kahit nagma-microsoft word ka lang 
this will come in handy pa rin because having an extra monitor screen will result to more productivity. Okay, I went to Trinoma looking for a simple monitor screen. May mga nakita ko that ranges more or less mga 5,000 pesos kada monitor screen. Then, I came across this Asus Zen Screen Go. This is a portable monitor screen meaning isasaksak ko lang siya sa laptop ko then it will power itself on. That's why I call my desktop also a portable desktop. I got this one sa Trinoma and Billman Computers and it comes with a cover that you can also use as a stand. But if you don't want to use that, it also comes with a pen. The unit kasi has a hole on the lower right corner so you just put the pen inside then it will stand on its own. It also includes a USB-C cable so you just plug one end on the monitor and the other end on your PC. You can connect an Android mobile or any PC with this unit then it's gonna ask you if you're gonna get the power supply from the PC or from the unit itself. The extra monitor screen also can be set up on your right, left, on top or bottom. It's really up to you and you can connect up to four extra monitor screens depending on which MacBook you use. It also has the option to rotate the vertical mode so if you edit vertical videos, you will have a bigger screen. This is more expensive than regular monitors kasi it's portable nga but if you're gonna use a regular monitor naman, you will either need an HDMI cable or a VGA cable. But if you wanna find out more about the Zen Screen Ghost, watch this. If you're interested naman with the Asus Zen Screen Go, here are its models. This whole video is not sponsored by the way, I just really love the products. That's why I'm sharing it with you guys. All of them looks the same. It has a 15.6 inch display. The first one, the MB16AC, powers itself on once you connect it to your laptop or phone. The next one naman, the MB16AP, this is what I use. Basically, it's the same as the AC one but this one has a built-in battery. Meaning when you're on the go, it can power itself on for up to 4 hours so you won't have to consume your laptop's battery. The last one naman, the MB16AMT, it's the same as the AP but this one includes touchscreen. Unfortunately, the MacBooks don't support touchscreen, that's why I settled for the MB16AP. The next in line is getting your own desktop mount. In my case, it's a laptop and tablet mount. I actually saw this one lang sa Shopee. Their store name is Love Shopping. And this is actually pretty easy to set up and bina lang siya. Kinakabit mo lang siya. You can customize it any way you want. When you place it naman, its own weight will hold it in place. I got this one for 2,500 pesos, around mga ganong price. And it's a good deal kasi it's high quality and matibay siya. It's really designed for tables na nakahiwalay kasi sa edge siya kumakapit. But in my case, my table kasi nakadikit sa wall. So I had to drill a hole here para dumikit siya because it clamps itself sa surface. And when it clamps itself to the surface, sobrang tibay niya, hindi siya gumagalaw. This is how I put my laptop. Meron siyang uh, stopper dito sa baba and meron din siyang stopper dito sa gilid to hold it in place. And you can position it any way you like. And dito naman sa tablet, super easy. Nakabit na siya. Ganyan. So para magpantay siya, angat ko lang siyang ganun, slide. And Yun. All I have to do na lang is connect the USB-C cable to my laptop, turn it on, yan mo ba yung logo, magagamit mo na siya like this. It's pretty seamless, yan o, makikita niya, parang wala lang. And just in case you're wondering, this isn't the only mount that they have, they also have mounts for laptops and monitors. Ito kasi, this is a tablet mount. They have mounts for tablet and tablet, laptop, laptop, etc. Monitor, monitor. And if you don't want to use this kind of mount, I suggest you get something like this. This one I also got sa store nila. Don't worry, I will put all of the links of the devices that I showed below so you can check it in the description box. This one, what this basically does, it's called the space bar. It's worth 
900 pesos or something. I love having multifunctional items that can save so much space. So you can put your laptop here, your computer here, then your keyboard below. And you can also plug in USB cables. There are four USB slots. And if you don't like this naman, there are items that are mas mataas, mas mahaba. But in the end, it's really up to you how you want to design your desktop. The next one naman is my extension cord. And this one is called the Xiaomi Power Strip. It's an uh, extension cord with built in USB adapters, which is really helpful for, for me. Because I don't yung other USB stuff to connect it to my laptop because I don't want it to consume the laptop's power. So, dito siya nilalagay. And then this brings us to our next item. This is a mouse pad that I got from Shopee. It's a really big mouse pad and it's worth 300 something pesos lang so it's really cheap and that's why I muna yung cord because I'm gonna show you what it does kasi ayo may color siya you can change the colors if you look it so if you hold it mamatay siya so yun and now that our service is ready we can now place our keyboard this is what I use. It's Logitech G613. It's a Bluetooth keyboard for gaming, although I don't use it for gaming. The reason why I got it is because uh, it's a mechanical keyboard. Uh, bihira. <laughs> Ito lang yung nakita kong mechanical keyboard na wireless. Mechanical meaning yung, yan, yung marinig mo yung clicks na ganyan. I wanted the mechanical keyboard because it fits my hand perfectly because I have big hands and, and I also got it uh, for its macro keys. Uh, these macro keys because you can set it up to any key para meron kang shortcuts for editing or coding or whatever you want. And it's a big keyboard, meron siyang palm rest and ito yung sinasabi kong keyboard na hindi nagkasha yung ano. Hindi siya nagkasha. Anyways, that's my keyboard. So it comes with this tiny USB thingy that you connect your laptop or computer. And since my laptop only supports USB-C, kailangan ko pa na adapter. So yeah, nasaksa ko na. And the other end is USB-C. All I have to do is plug it in. Wala nang download, download or install. From there, wait up. Yeah. From there, uh, magagamit ko na siya. I can just clickety clack so I, I don't know gusto ko lang yung sensation of hearing that clickety clack kasi nagamit ko na yung Apple's Bluetooth keyboard and I think it was pretty small for me so yeah next naman is the mouse and I'm not even kidding this is the best mouse in the market Logitech MX Master 3 if you were to ask me a couple of months ago before I got this product, I would prefer using the trackpad over any mouse. Pero when I used this, everything was much easier. And share ko lang din, before I used the MX Master 3, I was using uh, Logitech G602. So if I were to put it side by side, this is how it would look like. And I forgot to mention Penina. I got this keyboard sa Shopee lang also. It's a uh, Shopee mall ng Logitech. Uh, this one naman, I got this one sa uh, Shopee also, pero it's not Shopee Mall. This one, I got this uh, uh, Data Blitz in UP Town Center. So, yan. Anyways, this is the Logitech G602. It's a gaming mouse, pero I don't use it for gaming. I only bought it lang because of the macro keys. These ones, yung mga extra buttons na yan. So, these macro keys, just like the keyboard, I can set it up to any key that I want so I can have shortcuts, which is actually a pretty cool idea. Pero the reason why I stopped using this is because uh, it's loud and proud and it's lag free. Pero when I use it, it's a bit outdated na to the newer versions of the MacBooks or the laptops. And I just scroll ko siya. Nakikita niyo yung nagpo-pause siyang ganyan. Tuloy-tuloy lang ako nag... Tuloy-tuloy lang ako ganun. Pero mayroon siyang nagpo-pause ng ganyan. That's what you call the lag. Nakakapig on siya, promise. And that's where MX Master 3 comes in. This is the real deal. And just like the keyboard, both of these mouse, mice, mice uh, comes with this USB 
thingy that you can just connect it to your laptop. So this is how the MX Master 3 looks like up close. It has a vertical scroll wheel and the horizontal scroll wheel. It has two buttons aside and ito naman, this is where your thumb rests and it's also a button. What's special about this vertical scroll wheel is you can set it up as a free wheel mode. I rarely use this kasi hindi ko siya no control and a rough one so I use this. This is really helpful kasi no control mo siya one frame at a time. Another feature also na I forgot to mention is you don't need a mouse pad to control it. You can use your skin or even here or anywhere, it will work fine. Uh, as a sample, I opened the file I made a couple of years ago. Ito yung scroll niya. This is the rough one, like no control ko siya, uh, one row at a time. And then ito naman yung free one, I, I clicked it. And mahirap siya i-control kasi it's really free. But it's really helpful kapag when you're scrolling sa feed or whatever. And I can use the horizontal scroll wheel naman like this. So it works like a trackpad. And I can customize also the controls here. Options. So just show you. Ayan. Pwede mo i-customize. And you can customize it per application. You can have different functions ka the app this one i used it for horizontal scroll wheel pero you can also use it for brush size in premiere pro naman i use the rough one kasi i can move it one keyframe at a time and my stopper which is this is really helpful para no control mo and i set these up as this one is cut this one is delete this one is the letter V. Before kasi pindot ako cut, delete, then back to normal. Ngayon nagagawa ko na siya just by using my mouse. I click this to, to select cut. So nakakut na siya. I customize this as the letter V. So babalik siya sa normal. Then I can select this. Then I can use this to delete. It's just another example of what you can do with this MX Master 3. And it also has a feature where you can parang select different computers. Pero hindi ko siya magets. I don't know how it works kasi it only uses one uh, USB thingy. So if may gets nyo, please explain it to me kasi I don't understand it also. Okay, we're almost done. I'm just gonna clean these up. And the next item is wireless charging stand. So while working, you can just leave your phone here. Para nag charge siya. Sinabi ng brand na to, it's a fast charger, but it doesn't really perform like a fast charger. So I would recommend a different brand. Sabi ko kanina, nagigamit ko lahat. Etong tatlo, so I'll just plug this one in there. It's already charging. Wala lang talagang battery yung old phone ko. And that's basically it. This is my uh, portable work from home desktop setup. Kasi I can bring these two anywhere naman. Uh, I still have extras. If you still want to see cool things, you should watch this. Wait lang. It's bad for the laptop if you always keep it charging like overnight or ganyan. Pero ako, I don't remove this na because I connected it with Google. I set up a timer at certain times it will turn off at certain times it will charge. Pero if I want to control it naman manually, I can just say, hey Google, turn on the charger. And automatically, so, amazing, isn't it? <laughs> So that's how it works and meron pang isa actually, di ba sabi ko meron akong uh, USB here. May other USB pa akong isasaksak dyan. These are just the extras na because I also bought a clock, a digital clock. So yan siya, I got it from Shopee. It's really nice but uh, it's nicer kapag nakapatay yung ilaw which I also connected to Google Home. So I can just say, hey Google, turn off all the lights. The lights like will lights turn off. Right now. That's how it looks like. Kapag nakapatay yung ilaw, this is my desktop. And sometimes I turn it off. Kasi I put parang glow in the dark star. So parang ako nasa space talaga dito. This is how my drawer looks like. These are just watch boxes na ginamit ko lang to organize my stuff. This is, uh, this is my old MacBook charger. Cords. Uh, Type-C adapters, uh, uh, earphones, and other stuff. Ito, <laughs> parang cashier. 
kasi nag-grab ako palagi, grab food. So, uh, kapag kumakain ako, I just get money from here and then sort it out. And my hard drive ako dito. This is the pen for the uh, ASOS ball pen marker and paper. And lastly, uh, this, ito yung pinakabago. Ito yung pinakabago actually. Yung problema ko dati with my chair, it's space consuming. Like, nakaganyan siya. See? Like, malaking harang. I mean, dati nga, mas malayo eh. Pero, I got this sa uh, SNR. This is Lazy Boy. Uh, I got it was on sale kasi. What's special about this, it's an uh, executive chair. Pero naakit na mo yung... Ah... Uh, yung armrest. So, pwede ko siya gawing ganyan. See? More space. And that's it po for my uh, desktop tutorial slash review slash tour. And I hope may natutunan naman kayo sa akin. Pero if you guys have any questions, just leave it in the comment section below. Also, I have to plug pala na I also made three other videos as well. There's a home theater tutorial video where uh, I'll teach you how you can set up your own home theater with a, using a projector and a screen. I'll also include their uh, budget-friendly one. The other video naman is what I mentioned earlier, how you can set up your Google Assistant so you can control almost any gadget in your room or house. Last video is the most exciting because it's a whole room tour of how I uh, pimp up my room. Even my bathroom, I pimped it up. So, yun lang. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are safe, mga ka-quarantine. And, Shasha, I miss you. Get pala long-distance relationship. My girlfriend kasi is in Lipa. Uh, that's all. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next stories.